everyone, I wanted to talk about the Aper Scuba S1 Pro Cordless Robotic Pool Cleaner. This was given to me to test and review and I was super excited to get it and check it out. I wanted to talk about the benefits of using a robotic pool cleaner, how it looks coming out of the box, how to use it, and how well it performed during my initial testing. First off, it looks like they put a lot of thought and care into this product because the packaging is done very nicely. The design of this cleaner is very sleek and modern looking, which I really like. After a little bit of research online, you can see they're considered one of the top brands in the market at the moment. Now, why would you want to use a robotic pool cleaner? I see several benefits to using a robotic pool cleaner. You don't have to store long and heavy bulky cords and hoses. You don't have to worry about getting them out and tripping over them and them taking up space. With this robotic cleaner, you just drop it in the pool and let it do the work for you. It's very simple and convenient. Now, setup out of the box was very easy for me. All I had to do was take it out. I removed the plastic protective film from it. It was almost already fully charged up. I charged it up for a few minutes until that LED display was solid blue. And then all you have to do after that is unplug it and make sure you put the plug cover on the back. After that, you just hold the power button and it defaults to auto mode. And as soon as you turn it on, all you need to do is drop it in the pool and let it, let it do its thing. Out of the box, this comes with a manual, a retrieval hook, and a charging cord. So this is designed for above ground and in ground pools up to 2,150 square feet. You can use it for pools of various shapes like round pools, kidney shaped pools, rectangular, and some other custom designs. And the surfaces that you can use it on are vinyl, concrete, tile, and fiberglass. It takes about four hours to fully charge and depending on how it's used, you can get anywhere up to about three hours of battery life from this. So there's a LED light indicator on the front of it. So once the battery is low, it turns red. When it's around 50%, it is yellow. And then when it's around fully charged, it shows blue. So this comes with five cleaning modes. All you have to do is hold the power button for about two seconds and then it turns on and defaults to auto mode. In auto mode, it will clean the pool's floors and walls. And when the battery level is low, it will automatically stop cleaning and dock itself near the edge of the pool, which is convenient, so you can get it out easily with the retrieval hook. When it's in floor mode, it will clean the pool floor in an S-shaped route. It won't climb or clean the walls in this mode. And again, when the battery level is low, it will stop cleaning and dock itself near the edge. One thing that is special about this is that it has a waterline mode. So when you activate that, the machine will move horizontally and clean along the water line. This was pretty cool to watch. If the machine runs into any obstacles, it'll try and bypass them and then resume cleaning once it senses the water line again. This machine also has an eco mode. So on a fully charged battery, it will clean the floor of the pool for 45 minutes once every 48 hours for one week. So this also has a wall mode and you have to use the app to activate this, which I'll talk about later. But with wall mode, it will clean the walls in an N-shaped route. So it won't touch the floors or the water line. It'll just clean the walls in this mode. And again, when the battery level is low, it will stop cleaning and dock near the edge of the wall. So after selecting a cleaning mode, this device will check to see if it's in water. It will do this by rotating its water pump every 10 seconds for three times in total. If it doesn't sense any water, then it'll automatically shut down. If it does sense water, the device will start cleaning within 10 seconds of reaching the pool floor. So once it's done cleaning to retrieve it, it should be docked next to the wall's edge. And all you have to do is use the retrieval hook, attach it to your pool pole, and then you can just pull it up. Once it gets to the edge of the pool, you can reach down and slowly pull it up, let it drain, and then you can take it out of the pool. It does weigh about 26 pounds. So once you let it drain, you can slowly pull it out and let it drain on the pool side. I had my son also try this and he was able to lift it up and drop it in after turning it on. Okay, so this comes with dual active PVC rollers on the front and the back and a quad brushless motor system. So it's able to give more power to scrubbing and suction. 
It also has these robust, what they call caterpillar treads. It's able to grip the pool and it's able to stick on the side of the pool and climb up the pool walls, which is really neat to see in action. And it did a really good job of doing that. The waterline cleaning is considered industry leading. Not many other robotic pool cleaners have that feature. So that was neat to see. And I can see how it works to clean that pool edge to keep that waterline clean. It comes with these four advanced sensors to help the cleaner figure out where it is in the pool and sense where it's supposed to go. The way this cleaner works is it pulls water from underneath. The brushes will pull dirt and debris from underneath it, and that will go through the five liter filter. And to get the filter out to clean it, it's pretty easy. You just open up the top lid, and then you can pull it out, push the button, and dump it out and rinse it out. There's also the secondary filter, which is supposed to clean out things like algae and stuff that you can't really see. It can get things like small dirt. So it's nice to have that secondary filter as well. So Aper provides an app that you can use with this cleaner. And I was able to download that app and pair it really easily. The app allows you to put it into wall cleaning mode, which you can't do that with the buttons on the actual machine. You could also update the firmware. So that's a nice feature for having the app. And it can also give you some reminders on your roller brush lifespan and filter. So it lets you know how long you've had them. The app also can keep logs of cleaning records if you want to try and use that. For me, the main reason I would use the app is to put it into wall cleaning mode if I would like to use that mode and also to update the firmware. You can see in the filter that it picked up a lot of like the calcium deposits that was in the pool. It picked up a lot of the pine needles that fall off the pine trees that are near the pool here. And it got some little things like rocks and a little bit of vegetation here and there. And I feel like it did a pretty good job. I also tested it in the hot tub. So it was neat to see it in action there. And it actually did clean up a bunch of the pine needles that was down there. When I first put it in, it started to try and climb the walls. After I switched to floor mode, it did a good job of staying on the floor and cleaning up the floor that was in the hot tub there. Overall, I really enjoyed testing this out and seeing the technology and work. It was really neat to see it climb the walls. It was really neat to see it, how it tried to clean the water line. It was neat to see how it was thinking for itself underwater. I thought this did really well from our testing. It's not gonna be perfect. I don't think any robotic cleaner is gonna be perfect. Sometimes on the curved walls, it had to recalibrate. So it descended from the wall and went up a little further on the other side. So it wasn't gonna get every square inch of your pool. And sometimes when it was trying to figure out the steps, it would spend a little bit of extra time on the steps trying to figure out what to do there. So it's not gonna be perfect, just like any robotic pool cleaner with the latest technology might not be perfect, but I thought it did a pretty good job. And I, I think it could do a good job of cleaning pools that fit the description that I mentioned, which is above ground and in ground pools up to 2,150 square feet. I think it's gonna do best on the rectangular shapes. It did pretty good on this kidney shaped kind of pool. I do like it because there's no cords or hoses involved. All you do is charge it up, turn on the mode that you would like and drop it in your pool and then you just retrieve it later and let it do the work for you. I hope this video review was helpful. Thanks for watching and happy cleaning.